Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty. Today I'm going to be doing another minimal swipe. The difference is um, the last ones I used my Shelly Art paints um, and the recipe is down on the bottom. But this time I have some leftover paints. Now some of these are mixed with Liquitex, some with Floetrol, and all of them have water. And since they're left over, I'm not sure. Some are mixed. I'm not sure what brands they are. Mm -hmm. But, um, of course, this is a beautiful sort of dark pink. This is a light pink. This is um, like a pewter. I know it has silver in it and black. I think this is a crimson. And most of the time, it's a 24 karat gold mixed with some other gold. And this is like a baby blue, and I think this is dioxazine purple, probably basics. So um, these are just regular paints. I don't have any um, deep base or any of my other mixture I put in for my other Shelly technique. So this is just a regular swipe. The only difference is I am using the satin thinner than I usually use on my other Shelly art swipes, my bloom swipes. So this is still um, Walmart Color Play Satin. So I'm going to go ahead and flood this. I think the paints are a little tiny bit thinner than this. But I want this to stretch. But I also don't want to lose a lot. Of, I don't want to waste a lot. Um, so I'm going to help it along a little bit. And I will speed this up. I want to hit the corners and I want to get it over that, that ridge. I'm going to be tilting a lot of this off. My swipe color is is my Shelly um, Bloom swipe, which is Amsterdam Black Oxide and Australian Floetrol, which looks like this. Can't buy it here in the States. You have to order it from Australia. I got mine on eBay. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit. It seems to be thickened up just a bit. Get a little bit thinner. So you can make make this up because you really don't want to waste your Australian Floetrol. Just make it up and it, it stays in this container. I don't know. I've had them in here for three weeks and I don't think it, it matters. I don't put water in this. I just use Floetrol to thin it down. I'll be dipping it with my business cards my old business cards. So I'll be swiping on my face here. Um, cut up different sizes. And I'll be pouring this out on this, pa on this wax paper here. And make sure I get plenty on the card. Okay. Um, I do want the bulk to be right in the middle here. Bulk of, the, bulk of this. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and torch that first. All right, so I'm just going to make a design in the old way here. That's going to be tilted off, but I just thought I'd I'm just messing around when I start tilting. That's when the fun comes in.
little deeper red. Now the gold. I always like putting the gold on last because it doesn't show up a lot. Just playing around here. Probably enough. Since I want a lot of negative space. Here. That's a lot of paint. I usually don't put that much. Let's get to swiping. So I bend the cards, so I just want to glide it along the top. Make sure I have enough on here and start swiping. This is like the pseudo swipe, except with more negative space. And it's okay if you have leftover paint that's not swiped. What I don't want is things like that, though. You have to really be careful with that. That will stretch out and be pretty big. Paint is very sticky and it'll run.
Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, there's a few areas that I didn't swipe, which is fine. That looks like a snake head. I don't know about that. Isn't it? I don't know if you could see that like I can. Oops. I want to get rid of this. Well, I'm just spreading it. You know what? this little area will get big. I think I'm going to tilt it that way first. Okay. Here we go. It's messy. It's going to tilt at different speeds because there's less paint on the edges, and I knew I'd probably lose that, but. I gotta get the paint off, and it's gonna open up. go down here. That gold's really showing up today. Take that snake head off. I might be okay with the paint, but I need to go this way a little bit. I don't want to tilt it too much because then it starts going zigzaggy. You know what I mean? I'm getting cells. It might be from the Liquitex that I had in some of these colors. I'm getting pearls. <laughs> yeah. You get them where you don't want them, huh? Try getting them on purpose. I'm going to have to do some fixing here. The colors really hide. They hide well in here. Okay, I like it. What do you guys think? It works. 
it doesn't hold together quite as well as my Shelly recipe paints. It's 11 by 14. Now I can make it more interesting by taking my palette knife and making, you know, lines. But I think, um, I think I'm good with the way it is. We have a line right there. I will bring you back in about for a close-up in about 45 minutes because it looks like we're getting pearls over here. And I'm sort of surprised because the paint is pretty thick. There's no silicone. But maybe the Liquitex is doing it. I have to, I have to tilt it just a little bit over this way. No, it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to touch up the sides a little bit, and I'll bring you back in about 45 minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. I think um, whatever pearls we're going to show up are, are there. Um, here's a difference. This was done with, I think, the same consistency paints. Might have been a little thicker. But this is my Shelly Recipe paints. And see how they more stayed together? Um, I had a little more control over the design. Uh, so this is just my leftover paint. So there a bunch of problems. Liquitex was in it might have been too thin the base is satin which is giving the regular paint some pearls so if i'm going to try regular paints again i want to mix them and not use leftover and um i still think i would get pearls though because it's satin i don't know i'll just maybe stick with with um, using the shelly paints I mean, it's okay, but I'd much rather have this look and a few of my other paintings like this. Um, the, the, the colors are brighter. No, I didn't get really pick the colors here, so. Anyway, if you learned something, please like and subscribe. Check out my Amazon links. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.